In this video, we'll represent how to associate the partitions to sensors so that when the sensors open and close, that they will determine then how the buttons in each room will operate. So we can do this rather than the manual operation that we've shown in the previous videos. So in order to do that, we need to have some sort of a contact input device within our system. Now that might be an LVOS or it might be a keypad or it might be a DIN contact input station. I'm just going to show it with a DIN contact input station. So if I double click I will bring it into the room. There are 10 contacts and let's just go ahead and name the four uh, by the partition wall name. So this will represent which of the sensors is attached to which input. Okay, now if I go back into partition and I do a linked sensor, I did a right click on the partition, I can come into here and since this is partition wall AB, I'm going to say that's where the input is. BD, CD, and AC. So those four are assigned. Now in order to make this work uh, with the partition sensor that the Legrand sells, uh, this is an IR sensor so the contacts close when the beam is complete and that is when the wall is open. So that's going to be the opposite of what we're typically going to expect. Um, so what we need to do is come into here <clears throat> and we're going to change the polarity. So the normally open should is going to be normally closed and we need to do that for each one of these. And then obviously when we're done with this, the last thing that we need to do in order to make all this work is we need to configure this DIN. Uh, we can do that either by typing in the serial number or by the configure stations op operation. So once all this is done, if I were to go now into my Equinox interface, I still have that uh, ability with the graphic that's in there, as we've shown in previous videos, to be able to represent, uh, change the state of each wall. Uh, that is to allow you to do some representation and test some things and that sort of thing. But um, when it's all said and done, I would re expect that you would then set it back to the current state. And then as the walls open and close, as the context actually changes, when the partition states will be recorded. And all of our programming then will work according to the current wall configuration.